what does school teach you about money? And the answer is nothing. And that's not a mistake. That's not an accident. I knew that, most people know that. But the way to keep the poor and middle class working hard is never teach them what the rich know. Einstein said, you know, imagination is more important than knowledge, but knowledge empowers imagination. And what most people lack is real business knowledge, like accounting, you know, like debt, like taxes. You gotta know that stuff, but they don't teach it in school to anybody. The game the bankers and the rich play is different than what they teach you in school. Because the school system will never teach you about money. The school system was designed to teach you to be an employee, which is important, or a doctor or a lawyer, a specialist, but never about money. Well, I wasn't poor by most people's standards, but I came from a family with a poor attitude, if you know what I mean. So when I was nine years old, I moved to this rich kid's school. And suddenly I realized I was poor because it's relative. And these guys, their fathers owned the banks, they owned the plantations, they owned the car dealerships. And I'm going, how come my dad doesn't own that? So I remember raising my hand when I was nine years old, talking to my fourth grade teacher. And I said, you know, when am I gonna learn about money? And she was this woman who should have retired 50 years earlier. <laughs> She was so sick and tired of kids by this time. She says, the love of money is the root of all evil. And she says, we don't teach money at school. I said, why not? She says, go ask your father. My father was the head of education, PhD, all that stuff. I go home and ask him, I said, why don't we learn about money in school? And he looked at me and says, because the government doesn't let us teach that subject. The government tells us what we can teach and what we can't teach. And I thought that was strange. And I said, but aren't we going to school to learn about money? He says, no, your job is to get a job. Why don't you ask your best friend's father about money? And I said, why? That's Mike. So I asked him. He says, because Mike's father is an entrepreneur. So I'm kid, I'm all confused. But I took my dad's advice and I trundled over to Mike's father's office and knocked on his door and I said, hey, I'm here, nine years old, teach me about money. He says, beat it, kid, you know. But that's where the story of Rich Dad, Poor Dad started. And finally, through persistence, my Rich Dad started teaching me about money on one condition. And that condition was he would never pay me. He says, the moment I pay you, you think like an employee. He says, that's the trap. Entrepreneurs work for free. And now I'm nine years old, my head's going cracking in half. He says, you never want a paycheck. You understand that, kid? I said, okay, I got it. So I would work for free. I'd pick up cigarette butts and get hotels and restaurants, and I would clean and do menial tasks. And as I got older, I started getting into office work and marketing and accounting. And I was an apprentice, basically. But I always worked for free. If you learn never to work for money, you'll be a rich man. Most people are brainwashed when it comes to money. Go to school get a job, work hard, pay your taxes, save money, get out of debt, buy a house, and invest in the stock market. Everybody who follows that program has been brainwashed. Because you're the same type of person who will say, I can't afford it. I can't do that. That's the problem. It's up here. It's, it's, it's the real estate between this year and that year. I can't do that. Most of my family say, well, you, I can't afford it. My father taught to say that. My mother taught to say that. My rich dad said, never say that. I also use debt. I don't use money. And guys like Dave Ramsey said, will say live debt free. And for 99% of the people, that's good advice. But if you're going to be really rich, you have to learn how to use debt as money. Never say I can't afford it. My rich dad forbade his son and me to say the words I can't. He says, ask yourself, how can I? How can I do it? Lazy people always say, I can't afford it. I don't have the money. That's why they're poor. They have a poor mindset. So instead of figuring out how to raise money, it's just really easy to be a loser. And I call it losers. It pisses them off. Because we all have the power, if we wanted to, to not be poor if we learned how to raise money. 
you don't take risks, you don't get smarter. Yeah. You know, so you may know the answer, but you can't do anything. Another mindset is I must be light. And the other mindset is I must be comfortable. So the people who must be light and the people who must be comfortable will probably never make it as entrepreneurs, simply because, you know, we, we hear it all the time. Oh, I don't really want to be rich. I just want to be comfortable. You know, I want to be with all my friends, have them like me. Well, they should not be entrepreneurs, they should be employees. Yeah. Focus. And what focus stands for is follow one course till you're successful and then keep doing it. Because once you find that way of being successful, you can do it again and again and again. It's just like learning to walk. You fall down a number of times. But once you learn to walk, you know it forever. The key to success is actually failure, except in school. You know, in school, if you make a mistake, you're labeled stupid. Make too many mistakes, you're a failure. You know, mistakes are the only way we learn. God designed us to learn by making mistakes. For example, when a baby falls down, they stand back up. If they don't fall by, fall down and stand back up, they never learn how to walk. And when I learned to ride a bicycle, I remember falling off the bicycle a number of times. So after I learned to ride the bicycle, I decided to ride my bicycle to school. And guess what? I learned that failing is bad. But if I hadn't failed to fall off the bicycle, I never learned to ride a bicycle. So the reason most people, in my opinion, are not successful financially is because they went to school. And they learned that failure is bad. When in actuality, if you make a mistake and learn from your mistakes, you get smarter and richer. Every time I failed, it was like, good. I said, okay, what have I learned? And the average person, the reason they're poor is they haven't failed. You know, they play it so safe. They haven't made any mistakes like they taught in school. That means they don't learn anything. That's why the school system's actually fundamentally corrupt. It's anti-education. Don't make mistakes and don't ask for help. I encourage meditation and this process called cl clearing. You know, Tali talks about we have pain bodies in our, you know, it's like maybe your father did something to you 50 years ago. Well, that pain is still there. And meditation doesn't get to it. So there are people with the precision, it's like a laser guided to go in there and remove the mental and emotional pain. So there are processes who can do that. Well, the more you give, the more you receive. So when I meet somebody who's not, doesn't have any money, it just means that they're not giving something. Yeah. Well, school teachers will never tell you that because they don't know it. My poor dad never knew that. And he thinks they think the rich are crooks. The rich just play by different laws. Education is more important than before, but what the heck are you learning? I was called stupid so many times I almost went nuts. I flunked out of high school twice when I was 15 and 17 because I can't write. And today, I've sold more books than most teachers ever will. It's in the millions of books. So who was stupid? 